Why women break up with men and why you shouldn't date. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things. First of all, I'm gonna explain why women break up with men. Then I'm gonna talk about if you should date or why you shouldn't technically date. But there's a caveat in there, so I want you to pay attention for that. So first of all, women look at men differently than, than, than men look at women. Men look at women idealistically. We look at women from an idealistic standpoint of love. Women do not look at men in that same standpoint. The way that women view men for love is a conditional love. It's like a contract type of love. How do I know this? Years and years and years of experience. How do I know this? How do other guys know this? They've been through the same experiences. Um, at a certain point, a lot of guys either have a choice. They say, okay, well, I'm going to either accept this for what it is, take it at face value and say, hey, these women want me for my money. They want me for what I can provide for them. Okay, I'm going to... Um, play into that and I'm going to get a woman who's, who's or I'm, I'm going to go out and get a good job and then understand that that's conditional and a lot of guys just do that. Or they maybe go MGTOW or walk away or they just, they're, they're, they're hurt, lonely, you know, they become hurt and lonely by that. You have options, but that's, you're going to have to come to that realization sooner or later as a man. Your woman's love is contingent upon what you can do for her financially. It's just a fact. It's just what it is and it's taken me a long time and a lot of pain to realize that myself. So this is why women break up with men. They break up with men because they feel like men aren't going anywhere. They break up with men because they feel like the man can't do anything for them financially uh, as far as their resources go. What if we have a kid together? Is he going to be able to take care of my kid? What can he give me that other guys can't give me? This is how women look at relationships. They do not look at relationships like, oh, I want to find somebody that I have chemistry with that I can fall in love with. Not at all. They look at men for our resources, for our status, and what we can do for them. It's not about love. It's not about any, any kind of quality, genuine love. It's about what you can do for them. And this is why a lot of guys are taught to, well, show your Instagram, fix up your Instagram, make sure that you, 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 you're, you seem like a really exciting guy, hire a professional photographer so he can, he, can, he can get your best angles because you're selling a lifestyle, you're selling a life to her. She wants to, this is what women want. They want to be excited by a man who has a cool life um, and, and he can bring something into her life. And, and a lot of people don't think there's anything wrong with this. A lot of people look at it like, okay, well, you know, what, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, why shouldn't she want to have a good life, et cetera? Well, she should in, in a sense, but if that's your only basis for love, then something is wrong with your idea of love. If your only basis of love is that, oh, he needs to provide this great life for me or he needs to provide resources for me or he needs to bring money to the table then you have a distorted viewpoint of love and I would argue I'd say eight or nine out of ten girls on average have a distorted viewpoint of love it's in their nature it's just in it's called hypergamy it's in female nature it's etched in there this is why women break up with guys because the guys aren't going anywhere or he's not the guy that she first started dating he's not as cool as she thought he was she got bored of him etc and then they just stray and this happens all the time it happens in, in not only just regular dating relationships it happens in marriage too so as a guy what can how can you counter this what can you do in order to you know navigate through this th th this horrible thing that these women do first of all you have to understand what they do you have to understand that hypergamy is a part of female nature you have to understand that women are going to look at you as a means to an end they're going to look at you as either a financial resource or or a resource of entertainment or a resource of emotions or a resource of sex or a resource of status or a resource of fun life that you provide all these things this is what women want they want you to add something to their life now here's where a caveat comes in and here's where you know, you should be somewhat mindful or, or, or you could say, okay, well, well, let me figure this out. It's not a bad thing necessarily to put yourself out there in a certain way. And it's not a, a bad thing necessarily in order to bring something to her life or enrich her life. The difference is you have to understand that 
if you take away that thing that she's that makes her excited, if you take away that thing that makes her emotional over you or makes her want you to chase you, if you if you take that away, you have to understand that she's going to leave you. You have to understand that. You know whether you're being a bad boy and you're bring you you you're you're spiking her emotions and you're making her feel pumped up or like oh this guy makes me feel a certain way whether it's that or whether like oh he you know he has this great Instagram he has this really fun life he seems so kind and down to earth and he's eating spaghetti here at an Italian restaurant here he's hang gliding and here he's on on vacation in Brazil he does things he has a life he's so interesting whether it's that or. This guy's got a nice truck, he's got a nice house, he's got a cool car, he's got resources, it's that. Whatever the thing is that she's attracted to you for, that's more than the other guys, because there's lots of other guys that are trying to get in her pants, lots of other guys that are trying to date her, okay? Whatever it is that she chose you for, you got you have to understand, if you remove that, if you take that away, that cool life, those resources, that, that you know, s- sexy smile of yours, if, if whatever that is, if you take that away, she will leave you at, at the drop of a hat. Her loyalty is only so far as the conditions that she's attracted to are met. You have to understand that. This is female nature. This is what women are. This is how women behave. You have to understand that. So here's the caveat. You can choose, if you don't choose to walk away, you can choose to use that as a sort of lure Use whatever it is that that you got going for you that you attract women, whether it's your 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 attractiveness physically or your resources or your fun life, whatever it is, your you know your car, cool car, your house, whatever. Use that as a lure, but understand that if you take that thing away, she'll be gone. So here's the deal. Here's what I think guys can do: is use that to get a girl, and then when you're done or when you get bored or when you've had a bunch of sex or whatever, don't love her because that. You you un, you have to understand that as a man you can't love her because her love is conditional. Once you because your love is not the same type of love as her love. Your love is an ideal love. Her love is a conditional love. When you lose whatever it is that she's attracted to, whether it's money, status, etc., all those things I said, she will leave you. So you have to keep that in the back of your mind, and you have to understand that that's the breaks. So don't lock her down. Don't date her. Don't don't. Go steady with her. Don't tell you tell her you love her. Don't don't move her in. Don't bring her home. All those things. Just just use her. That's my advice because her love is conditional. She's using you. It's it's the same thing. So whatever she's attracted you for, use her for that to get what you want from her, which should just be sex. If you want you know a little bit of intimacy, but understand that that intimacy is hollow. It's shallow. It's not real. Thanks for listening.